I just want my freedom back. This friend of mine, back in 2018, says I was sneaking in their daughter's bedroom, touching her, and they ended up arresting me for it. I did two and a half years in prison with 10 years post. I had to register as a level two, and I got to do it for pretty much life. You know, I'm in this relationship with my fiance, Amber, and we're trying to, you know, move on. You know, I found out too that she's pregnant. I mean, as soon as I found out we were pregnant, I told my parole officer and he said that after the nine months, you ain't gonna be able to see the kid. I mean, the thought of not being able to see my unborn child, it sucks. I mean, you know, and having to have her go through it by herself, I don't know. It's hard. Everywhere I go, I mean, I'll go down to, you know, Walmart. People are calling me a pedophile, a rapo, you know, for something I didn't even do. I mean, the only reason I took the plea deal is to be with my family. You know, because they were trying to nail me with 21 years if I lost trial. When people say things about me and Amber's relationship, it, you know, it's hard. You know, because, it, you know, maybe she could do better. You know? I just, I, you know, I appreciate what she does. You know, she's there for me. She's been, you know, pushing through everything. I mean, it sucks. I mean, I got, you know, a beautiful fiance. You know, with a you know kid on the way, and then there's everybody's judging her for me, and it sucks. You know, I can't, I can't thank her enough for what she has done. You know, and hopefully, you know, everything goes back smooth, and we can move on from this. So, Anthony, you're a registered level two sex offender. Yeah. What does that entail? I can't be around kids. I can't be around. I can't go a lot of places that I'd like to go to. Parks, parks, children, amusement parks, stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, what about your own child you're having with Amber? Will you be able to be around it? No, not until I clear my name. They didn't say if you clear your name, you'll be, be around children. They didn't say that. No, but if I go to court, whatever I got to do. Did you touch your friend's ch children? No. How close were you with this friend? Close. Very, Very close. close. So you have no reason why he would lie? I have no reason. No. So you, you, this happened in 2018, correct? 2018. Yeah. And what did the child say that you did to her? I was sneaking in her bedroom and touching her at night. And you say you didn't do that? No. And were you accused of other children? Uh, yeah, their other one, their middle daughter. And what did they say you did? They said I was touching her and watching the youngest one make her watch. Kind of specific, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, it's disgusting. I love kids. I love my, you know, I would not do that. And so the police come, they lock you up, mm -hmm. and you go to court, and they offer you uh, a deal. Yeah. So they say, hey, you, you're going to go to jail for 21 years, or you could take, what, four years or something? Three years, 10 three years, years post. And you said three years sounds good. Well, I did that to be out with my, my family. Your my, mother and father? My, and my father, because okay. he would not make another 21 years. OK. So you came or took a lie detector test, but no matter what, you pled guilty. Yep. And the court system said, here's your time, and you did it. Yeah. So, I mean, we might think you're a dirt bag, but you did the time. Right. But they said, once you get out, you got to be a sex offender. Right. I think the real tough part, though, is when your child's born, she can't bring the child around you. Oh, I know. You can't, about be it. The, you can't see the baby born. No. You won't be able to live in the same house with your child. No. Did Amber know all of this before she got pregnant? Yes. And she was OK with it? We've been going through this since we've been together. She knew this before we even got together. And she said, yeah, I'm, I'm down with this. Because she knows I didn't do it. She what? She knows I didn't do it. How does she know that? Because we got faith in each other. Because you told her I didn't do it. That, and I just gave her everything. Every but, paperwork, everything. Uh, hi, how did you meet Amber? I actually through a uh, mutual friend. And when did you tell her, oh, by the way? She knew about it. How? Through a friend? Through a friend. And she said, I want to date a sex friend. She didn't, because she knows I didn't do it. She must have oh, yeah. wanted more details. I told her all about it. 
Okay. I don't lie about it. And she said, I believe you. Yeah. I've been dating Anthony for approximately four months. I met him through a mutual family friend. As soon as I met Anthony, he told me about his charges. He didn't hide any of it from me. Within probably the first two weeks of being together, he handed me his whole entire case, let me read everything. What was allegedly said that he did to a friend's child was um, he forcibly touched her. Um, they said unlawful imprisonment, and they said that there was penetration, but child was never taken to a hospital whole case was based off hearsay reading what those papers said and knowing Anthony for what I know I just I can't see it for a second I don't believe it for a second after the show called us back actually I found out that I'm currently five weeks pregnant and expecting a child with Anthony as soon as I found out I was pregnant we told his parole officer his parole officer I asked could he at least be in the room for delivery and he said we can't talk about that right now not until the time comes but he said, I hope you two, you guys know you cannot live in the same residence with that child. It kills me to know that I'm possibly going to have to do this on my own without him. It kills him. Um, it's, it's a lot. It is. Because he, I know he could be an amazing father, but because of his status, he can't have the chance unless we win appeal. His child won't even know him until he's, he or she is 18 or older. I do have a lot of problems with family and friends that he is a level two sex offender. I've lost a lot of family and friends because I do stand by him. It does make it hard, very hard. And on top of that, staying with Anthony, I can't see my other children. Um, that kills me, it does, because we're in the same home right now for the time being. I can't have them at my home, can't have them overnight, and that is the hardest thing I've ever done. It is and I feel like I'm picking somebody over my children and that's not it. It's not. Anthony, yeah, you better not make me regret this. I've definitely put a lot out on the line to be with him, a lot, a lot. <laughs> and our baby's future does depend on this. Let's meet Amber. I do, I love you. Just, please. I don't want to look stupid. I put a lot on the line. Love me nice. I know. I love you with all my heart. You said a family friend introduced you. Mm -hmm. And you knew about him? Yeah, I did. And you knew he was a sex offender mm -hmm. even before you went on a date. Mm -hmm. And even with that knowledge, you said, yeah, I'd like to go on a date with him. It was, there was a lot more to it. Um, there is a lot of people that do believe yeah. in him. Um, because when it all comes down to it, he said, yeah, I did it. He did. I plead I'm guilty. Taking the guilty plea, yes. Right. And went to prison for mm. three years. Yep. Okay. Could you be in a relationship with him if he fails his lie detector test? I told him before, I don't really know how to answer that until I hear it. It's a hard one for me to answer to know how to react. Well, I'll put it this way if he were to fail and he pled guilty and he did time in prison mm. and you stayed with him, you as a mom with kids with somebody else would be dating a level two sex offender. Yep. Yep. You know, as me, as being a dad, I would say, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. uh, Anthony came here to clear his name. We asked him, did you touch your friend's youngest daughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. He told the truth. <laughs> Did you touch your friend's middle daughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. What? I don't think so. Did you touch your friend's oldest daughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. He did not tell the truth. Get that camera out of my face. Oh, see, if he would have just left, I would have said, man, he just did you a huge favor. <laughs> Amber, you know I'd never do anything like this. I didn't need a minute. So I just want to uh, clarify, you know, and go over this one more time. He even he stated um, the youngest one was the one he supposedly made watch. So he never he was never really charged with uh, touching that one but it was the two uh, older daughters. Um, I wasn't charged with the other one either. Okay. Well, 
You I can failed. tell you that right now. Okay. You went to prison for three and a half years. You're yeah. a level two sex offender. St stop me when I'm saying anything wrong. Uh, won't be able to be involved in your child's life, see it, spend time with it, be a father figure, uh, live with you, be, you know, anything like that in any realm, any possibility. He comes here and he fails Sorry. a lot of times. Please. Please. I can't see straight. Look at me. Look at me. You look at me. You know I'd never do anything like this. You know. Look at me. Look what, at me. Does, what does she know? That I know I didn't do this. I can tell you that right now. Well, I don't think she knows that anymore. Yeah? Why don't you take one? Why don't you take a lie detector test, bud? Read to the internet. Okay. Why won't you? What, and what am I being accused of? What? Nothing. Why is it in your paper saying you haven't touched one? Or why you say you won't take one? I you passed one when you were younger. You, you said you lied on it. Okay. First of all, I'm not accused of anything. Nobody's accusing me. I'm not I've accusing never you. Been I'm charged. asking you a question. I'm not accusing you. I'm okay. asking you. Of, if I ever molested a child? No. I didn't ask you that question at all. Okay. Did I? I asked you one question. Why don't you take a lie detector test? Anthony. Because nobody's accusing me of anything. I don't worry about that. I, I, please, Mike. Anthony. Nobody is accusing me of anything. I stay at home. I don't bother anybody. I do my show. <laughs> now, if somebody accused me of a crime, I'd have no problem taking lie detector tests. And I have taken lie detector tests. I've taken lie detector tests when I was in high school. I took a lie detector one. test when I, was I read in, it. when I was in the Marines. And I took lie detector tests when I was a police officer. Yeah. I've taken many lie detector tests. So if you want to dig into my background, keep digging, buddy. You know what? I know I do this. I know uh, Amber, this has got to be a lot to take in. I can't even see straight. Yeah, I gotta imagine your world is spinning right now. Very much. Okay. And, and you know, Amber, I, I do have sympathy for you because you're kind of behind the eight ball right now. Mm -hmm. You are pregnant, and uh, you know, now you're gonna be tied with this guy, which, hey, Maybe it works out between the two of you. He served his time as our criminal uh, legal system has said. Uh, I f find it odd that all of a sudden he wants to attack me. I didn't put a gun to this guy's head and make him come on my show. He came on his own free will. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you, uh, do, do you believe in redemption? Do you say, he's treated me so well, he loves me, you know what, even if he did do it, Maybe you go home in a private moment when your camera's off. He goes, I didn't want to admit to you that I did. I made a huge mistake, uh, but I love you. I'm never going to do that again. It was a, a weak moment. Do you think there's a possibility you could say, hey, uh, I'm going to move forward with him? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, when you decide you want to commit your life with somebody and bring children into the world, you really got to get to know them. I would hope no matter who you're with or who you choose to move forward with, that they give you the truth. Because the worst thing you can do is start a relationship based on a lie mm -hmm. and keep going with that lie. He knows how much I've gave up and what I'm giving up to try and help him. So I do deserve the truth. Right, well, well you, when you go home, you should demand it. And I wish you all the luck in the Thank world. Thank you. Okay? Thank you for your Good help. Good luck to you. Yep, you got it. Nice Steve, meeting you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilcos.com to get my help.